the narcissist acts differently when they are not around you. There are at least two aspects of the narcissist, two personalities, two ways of acting and behaving. They are two-faced. They are insincere and deceitful. They're not expressing genuine feelings. They are deceiving people. They are giving them the wrong idea or impression and hiding who they really are and what they're really about. They're fake people. They're not real or genuine to you or anyone else. They're just pretending to feel or have an emotion illness or injury to get what they want. When most people get involved with them, they are giving them what they want to see. They are displaying their selfless, kind, caring character, which is designed to manipulate people into doing what they want. They pretend like they care about you, they pretend like they're respectful of you. They pretend to have values and morals. You might have an argument or disagreement with them, but you still see it as normal. You recognize and understand that normal functional people have arguments too. So it's not something you're really alarmed about. As time goes by, you begin to accept that the false character is who they really are. You begin to see them as someone who is caring and respectful. Someone who does have your best interest in mind. You accept these qualities and traits as being a part of their personality. You accept the false character that they are displaying to you as being real or genuine. You listen to what they're saying. You observe their actions. So you accept that they are who they say they are. But what you don't realize is that the narcissist has been studying you. They have studied your likes and dislikes. They know what you want to see. They know what you want to hear. And they display all of this to you. It's like buying a used car. When you first go to purchase the used car, it's all polished nicely. They might have put some new tyres on the car. There doesn't appear to be any obvious issues. The seller knows exactly what the customer wants to see when they are buying the car. They know how you want the car to look. They know that you want it to be clean. They know that you want it to run effectively. So they take the necessary steps to ensure that it appears this way. Because they want you to buy the car. They've presented it to you as something that might be good for you. So you're happy to buy the car. And at first, it all seems to be going well. But after a few months, you begin to notice problems with the car. There's all kinds of rips and tears in the interior that you didn't notice when you first bought it. 
the wheels are out of alignment. So you take it to a repair center and then you discover that there is irreparable damage to the engine. The car isn't even safe to drive. You invested your money into this car and now you're forced to accept that there's nothing you can do with it. You can't even sell it onto someone else. You're forced to accept that you've been tricked or deceived. You've been fooled. And the way in which the seller sold this car is the exact same way that the narcissist sells themselves. They have to do this to close the sale, to secure you as their new source of supply. They show you everything that you desire, everything that you want to see when you first meet them. But as you begin to spend more time with them, you then realize that there is another side to them that is opposite in nature to the character that they first display to you. From what they had showed to you at the beginning, you would never have expected them to function in this way because they hid all of that from you. They didn't reveal any of that to you at the beginning. They have a lot of problems or issues that they keep hidden from you until they've got you logged in. Many of them have anger issues, drug addictions, things that they never reveal to you at the beginning, things that they did their best to hide. and they trick you into believing that the false character is who they really are. But who they really are is someone who is very reckless. Someone who acts foolishly and carelessly without thinking about the consequences of their actions. Many of them excessively indulge in sex, alcohol or drugs because they're not happy with their lives and they're trying to escape from reality. They don't care about what is right or what is wrong and there is nothing that they won't do to get what they want. The character that they displayed to you at the beginning was not real or genuine. They don't have any real values or morals. They don't really care about you. That was just to lure you in. You may think that you have gotten to know them and you know what they're really about and what they're capable of, but how do you really know that? You were displayed a character at the beginning and that wasn't really them. So what if the character you're seeing now isn't really them either? They could be hiding a lot more that you don't even know about. As I've said in a previous video, what you see from them is only the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of things that you don't know about them. A lot of things that you may never know. 
they display these qualities and traits to you at the beginning. You got to know this character, but then you soon realize that it's nothing like who they really are. You are only getting to know the false character. That was who you believed in and trusted. You had a firm belief in their reliability, truth or ability. You felt as though you had a connection with them. You developed certain expectations from a character that wasn't even real. And then time goes by and you wonder why they are no longer capable of meeting those expectations. When that character was never real in the first place. You don't know who they really are. You don't know what they're doing when they're not around you. You don't know if they're giving that same character to someone else and trying to lure them in. Whenever they're not around you, you can be sure that they're doing something that is not in your best interest. Without any care or consideration for you. Because the person you got to know doesn't even exist. That person who seemed to care so much about you isn't really them. That was just who they knew you wanted them to be. And once they've pulled you into that trap, it's too late. Now it's not so easy for you to get yourself out of there. And the kind, caring character that you saw at the beginning is now nowhere to be seen. But you still have this connection to the false character. You feel as though you want to be with them. As though you love them. When the truth is, they don't even exist. You fell for something that wasn't even real. It was an act. They behaved in the way that you wanted them to. Because they knew that would make you want to be involved with them. They knew that would lure you in. They act differently depending on who they're around. Depending on what they think people want to see and what they think will get them what they want because that's all it's really about that's why they created the false character it wasn't to provide anything to you it was only to trick you into giving something to them Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nasforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.